Spring has sprung. Well, in the UK it has anyway. And it's that time of year when we're all getting our bikes off the indoor trainers, brushing off the dust and getting them ready to get back out on the road for some action. But if your bike has been sat in the garage for a little bit too long, or maybe you've ridden your bike all throughout the winter and it's had a beating in the winter elements, what do you need to do to get it ready for spring? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you a whole list of things to do to make sure your bike is ready to get out on the road for spring. Let's get into it. Before we get into it, I want to give a big shout out to the GCM book because a lot of the tips that I'm going to be chatting about today are in this book as well as a lot of other maintenance tips. So if you want to brush up on your maintenance skills, get to, you know, work on your bike a little bit more, or you just want to treat someone special to the GCN road bike maintenance book, then head over to the GCN shop. But this book, I like to describe it as everybody in GCN, all the presenters knowledge into one book. If your bike has been out in the winter elements, it is definitely going to need a deep clean. But even if your bike has been on the indoor trainer, you're still going to need to clean it. It'll be in collecting dust. A lot of sweat has probably been absorbed on that bike. Maybe even a bit of dribble too. So get your cleaning products out and give it a deep clean. I'm not going to show you how to wash your bike in this video because we have plenty of them over on the GCN Tech channel. So go and have a look at one of those. Give your bike a deep clean and maybe even treat yourself to some new cleaning products as well. Um, we have this product from Silka and this is my favorite one, the bike wash. I wish smell vision existed. This smells so good. Almost too good to put on my bike, but we're gonna do it anyway. So now that your bike is spick and span, we're gonna get on to inspecting the bike. And we're gonna start off with the frame. And basically, you just wanna give your frame a check over, really get up close to it and check if there's any, you know, cracks or scrapes, or, you know, if you've got rim brakes and something's been caught and it might have damaged in by the forks there. Basically, just give it a really thorough look over to make sure it's still in one piece, essentially, because we don't want any cracks in our bikes. Right, next up, we're gonna to move to the drive train. And first off, we're gonna start by checking our chain to see if it's worn. How do you know if your chain is worn? Well, with one of these bad boys. This is a chain checker. Then you just pop it in your chain and depending on how far the little pin goes down, it'll tell you if you need to replace your chain. But a worn chain, it can lead to all sorts of problems gear slipped in, it won't run smoothly. And you can imagine if you're out on the road sprinting for a town sign, your gear like kind of jumps. That could be because your chain is worn and we don't want that. So keep on top of the chain. Whilst you're there, you also want to check your chain ring and your cassette if they are worn too. You also want to check for any worn cables. It's also super common for Shimano right hand shifter, the cables to kind of wear and fray on them as well. So just give them a good check over and make sure they're all in good working conditions. If they are on the way out, you might want to replace them, you know, fresh, ready for the new year of riding outside. Now moving on to your headset. Now your headset takes all the elements. It takes the wind, the rain, the snow, the sleet. It takes the sweat and the dribble from your indoor training session. It all lands into this bit, doesn't it? So it is really important to give your headset a good check over. You have you can kind of just tell by turning the handlebars like this, if it's you know making any noises, it sounds a little bit gritty, but you can, go as far as giving it a full service. You can do this yourself. We have a video on it on the GCN Tech channel, or you could take it to your local bike shop and get it done by experts if you aren't fully confident in doing it. But I'm not sure if you can hear that, but that sounds a little bit gritty. So I know what I'm gonna be doing after this video. I'm gonna be giving this a check over. Moving on to handlebar tape. And I learned this the hard way. I did quite a big winter of indoor training and my handlebar started to smell a little bit. And that was because all that sweat and moisture from your hands, from your head, from just sweating straight onto your handlebars and it got really grim. They weren't drying properly and it was disgusting. So even if it's been, if you haven't replaced it for a year, but you have, maybe haven't done as much indoor training, still replace them. Treat yourself to some brand new handlebar tape. It's not that expensive to do 
but it's just quite hygienic as well to replace them. So I'm not gonna insert any pictures here of disgusting handlebar tape that I have seen in the past that have been fluffy underneath the tape at some points. We're not gonna talk about that, but just replace the handlebar tape so you don't get in the same situation I did. Right now we're gonna move on to our tires, our wheels and our brakes. Starting off with the tires. Hopefully you've had some really good durable tires on in the winter, but again, you wanna check if they're worn. Some tires have like wear indicators on that you can check. If they don't, you just wanna go all the way through the wheel, kind of check in if there's you know, any worn bits or any slits or holes or anything. Um, and then if there is, you wanna replace the tires or maybe, you know, come in into spring, bit better weather, you can ditch the really durable winter tires and opt for a bit of a faster rolling option if you want. Then moving on to the wheels. Again, I just go through, check all the spokes, make sure there's no loose spokes. If you are running rim brake, you wanna check your rim to see if that is worn. Again, usually some of these kind of have wear indicators and you can usually kind of tell by looking at it if it is worn or not. Um, you wanna check your hub as well, making sure that's all spinning nicely. Looks pretty good this wheel actually. And then moving on to your brake. If you have a disc brake, you wanna check the disc. You also wanna check your brake pads in the brake caliper as well. Change them every now and again. They're pretty easy to do yourself um, if you want to. Um, and yeah, just make sure your wheel is looking good. Right now your bike is pretty much there, nearly ready for a ride. There is a few more things I wanna go through. Final finishing touches, let's say. If you have been riding outdoors in the winter, you might have had full mud guards on. Hopefully you have, because they do help protect your bike and yourself from the elements. But now we're moving into a bit better weather. You might want to opt for a bit of a lighter option maybe an ass saver. We have these over in the GCN shop and they basically just go under your saddle there and it's going to protect your bum from getting wet in case you do roll into any puddles. And it's nice to have something like this, gives you a bit of protection, but you know, it doesn't feel like full mud guards. You it feels, makes you feel a little bit faster, I guess. Uh, one more thing is checking through your saddlebag, making sure that you have everything you need. Take everything out of the saddlebag, give it a refresh. Does it need a new inner tube? Does it need tire levers? Add them all in, make sure you have everything in case you do come across a mechanical problem or a puncture or whatever. And then final step, take your bike for a spin, round the block to make sure it doesn't fall apart before you head out on your big ride. But I think that is mostly everything covered. Remember, all the things I've mentioned today are in the GCN maintenance book or on our GCN tech channel. So if you have any issues, do a quick search on YouTube and you will find our videos on how to fix it. But that's it for today. Hopefully you enjoy riding your bike in spring in a bit of a nicer weather. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and let me know if you have any more tips down that comment section below.